Welcome, hope you're having an amazing day. Today I want to show you how to use uh, pricing plans and also permissions to set different levels of access into your website. Now this is very useful when you try to restrict specific page uh, and only make it available for people that are paying specific plan and again this is very very useful if you're doing something like uh, sharing updates, sharing some content, uh, also is a good way to build a list, right? So many times people think that using the pop-up is the best way, but in reality, you forget that if you create something very unique in your page and you make people sign up, you're also building that list that you can utilize later and also make it available either with a price or for free. So let's get started. The first thing I would do is I will work on the page that I'm going to set for my uh, level of membership. And at the end, I'm going to add the app using the pricing plan. And this is a combination that we can use. So first, you want to go to your uh, pages right here. And then we're going to add a new page. Once you add a new page, this is just going to be a regular blank page where we're going to add something like, let's say, well, we're going to name it gold membership. And then we're going to create another one, which is going to be uh, silver membership. So this is going to be silver membership. <clears throat> and again, this is something that you can uh, add design create as you like so what i'm gonna do on the silver membership i'm gonna add a gallery and then on the gallery you have a few options one is you can connect it to a database so that way you can add a lot more content or you can just um, upload the content directly into the gallery by using the settings right here manage media and this is where you can select all let's say you delete the stack pictures and then you add a new images right here so let's say we do <clears throat> mountains uh, this is just gonna be as an example so let's say I have a gallery of uh, images that are only available for a silver plan or a silver package so I'll add that right there and then I'm also going to add a text right here and this is going to be named silver membership and then we're going to go to the gold membership and on the gold membership let's say have uh, videos instead of just uh, you know images so this is going to be gold membership and then we're gonna add a gallery of videos. So we're gonna go here, video music, and we can actually add something like this. <clears throat> the cool thing about doing something like a um, video channel, right, is that you can connect all the playlist from your youtube channel if you already have one or if you don't want to go this route then uh, you can also upload them directly into the website so i'm going to show you the two ways the first one is using a youtube channel playlist and by doing this again it's going to save you time and one is going to speed up your site but not everybody's going to have access to these videos because you're going to have them unlisted on your YouTube channel. So it's only going to be available for people that have paid for this specific membership. So this is something that it's super useful and <clears throat> you can charge for it. So you can do something like this. Uh, we're going to go here. I'm going to move myself and we're going to paste this right here. So as you can see, I have my YouTube channel here and then I can add video or add a fee. So if you do add video, you can add specific videos. And in this case, I have them right here. 
Uh, you can also change this and do add a video instead. So if we go here, I can also delete it, update it. So now I have a bunch of different videos right here. I have a different gallery that I can use. So this is something that you can offer as a <clears throat> as a service or as a plan, right? So it's only available for certain people. So that's one way to do it. We're gonna delete this. And now we're gonna add a specific video. So we're gonna go to the list and then we're gonna go to blank repeaters and we're just gonna use this repeater right here. That way we can add multiple videos. And then I'm gonna go to video right here and I'm just gonna add a single video. And right here, I can make the size that I need to make it. So let's say it's gonna be something like this. And I can attach it. <clears throat> and then right here, I can have something like another button or text, whatever you like to do for this part. And let's say you have it like that. So now you can also connect this to a collection but this is only gonna be visible for people that have signed up for your gold membership. So now that we have our two sample pages, the silver membership and the gold membership, all we have to do here is go into the settings, we're gonna go to SEO basics, and then we're gonna go to permissions. And right here, we're gonna do members only. And then we're gonna do only select members of paying the specific membership. So in this case, we want to use some uh, specific membership, right? As you can see, I have basic pro standard. Uh, and this is something that is showing because I already have the app. In your case, if you don't have the app already on the website, it should look something a little bit different. So I'm going to delete it completely. So that way we're going to see as if we're starting from scratch. So we're going to delete this. And now I don't have a level membership. So we're gonna go back here to the page. So we say the silver membership, gonna go into the settings, permissions, uh, members only. And as you can see, yours should look something like this. New pricing plans, create a plan. So you can just have it as create a plan. <clears throat> and once you do that, it's gonna show you this option. You just gotta click add to site. And then now we're going to create a plan for a gold membership and a silver one. And then you can set which one you want to charge for or the difference on pricing. And we're going to do that right now. <clears throat> Another thing is um, if you don't want to use it this way, you can also set it in a way of access or restricting a specific thing. So for example, if you have some type of submission form where only a group of people have access to upload data, right? So if you're creating like a marketplace or some type of uh, listing website where you need to be adding this content to only a specific people that have pay some type of subscription, then that can also be said on that way. Okay, so once you add the plants, it should give you an example like this, which is uh, stack uh, plants. So all you have to do is click uh, on the item and then click on manage plants. Once you're here, uh, you're gonna be able to add your own plants. Those are again, just uh, standard plants that come on the actual, um, that come on the actual uh, sample. And again, you can just delete them. Uh, you can modify them, whatever you like to do here. In this case, we're just gonna click high plan and then we're gonna do archive. Then we don't need this. And this one, we also don't need it. All right, so we're gonna create a new plan right here. And then on this one, we're gonna name it first gold plan. And then we can have something like access um, 10 custom pictures per month. 
right? <clears throat> and then you can have it set on either uh, something that it's every month. Uh, so it will be a recurring plans. So you can also do one time payment or you can have a free access. And again, this is good if you're trying to build an audience, you're trying to grow your uh, your fans and later you can upsell them on other things. So for this example, because I don't, haven't connected any payment method because this is just a uh, testing website, we're just gonna have it as free so it's easier for us to show you an example of how it's gonna work. And then we're gonna do onto cancel and then click save. And also you can do, uh, if you wanna allow cancellations, let people set a start day. So you can do a lot of different things. Uh, policy will be something like, let's say somebody created a, started a plan and then two days later they cancel. Because this is digital assets, let's say if you were selling something like pictures, videos, things like that, it's very easy for people to copy. So you can set it as like not refundable if they already pay and access the page. So again, you can set different rules for this uh, and then you can just add it. For now, we're just gonna keep it very simple. So that's the gold plan and then we're gonna click save. And then we're gonna add another plan and this is gonna be silver plan and then we can do access um, <clears throat> image, uh, 20 images per month. But I also remember that the goal is actually videos and the silver is pictures. So we're gonna change that. So again, we're gonna keep this as free and can't onto cancel since it's not gonna charge them anything and then click save. And we're gonna go back and edit this one because it's actually videos. So 10 custom videos per month. <clears throat> so now we have our two plans. We can just close this and you're gonna see it right there. So it shows us zero, but then we're gonna go here on our pages. And then <clears throat> as you can see in this part right here, right, this is your pages. We're gonna go on this page specifically, which is gold. And then <clears throat> we're gonna go on the settings and then on their settings, then we're gonna go to permissions. So again, this is gonna be as clicking here one, clicking here two, and then permissions three. And then from there, once we click on permissions, we're gonna do, um, the level of uh, permissions. So then we're gonna do members uh, members only or memberships, and then we're gonna go only selected members or paying customers. So once we're here, we're gonna scroll all the way to this part on the bottom, which is gonna be this one right here, right? And then once we do that, then we can select the type of uh, plan that we're gonna do. So for this one, it's a gold plan, so we're just gonna click there and then click apply. And then we're gonna go to the silver and we're gonna do the same thing right here. Now we're gonna select this one and this is gonna be silver and then apply. So now we have that right there and then we can click uh, publish so that way you can see what it's gonna do. So we're gonna go visit the site. And the first thing is you have a few options. You can have the page display on the menu or you can have it somewhere on the on the website what i normally do is i will have the pricing plans uh somewhere on the home page like uh get our membership or sign up for this membership and then it will take them directly to uh, select a plan on which one they want to pick because the other way is that if they go directly into the site, it's going to ask them to sign up first, which is good because then you also get that information up front before they uh, know if they're going to pay. So there's a pros and cons of doing this. So it totally becomes up to you on how you want to handle the flow on signing up for a membership. So if we go to the gold membership, we're going to do sign up and let's say we're going to do testing 12 and then we're gonna do one two three four five six I'm not a 
bot and then sign up here once they sign up it's still gonna give you this message this is something that i believe wix is working they're gonna change in the future so instead of like taking you here it should already take you to the check plans but as you can see it's only showing you the gold plan because that's the one that we sign up on and once we select because we're not paying anything then we click get plan and now we have access to it so when we go here we should be able to access the gold membership page now if i go to this page i'm gonna have the same issue it's not gonna let me see it because i haven't signed up for it now in the event that you have some type of price let's say it's 20 50 whatever dollar amount or uh, or your currency amount is set on this page then once you click on check plans you're going to have a list here and once they pay then they're going to be able to access that page in this case after logging here you'll have a box where it says um, you know add your payment information and for using this uh, type of membership level uh, app you do have to have a premium site if you're taking money if you're not charging for it let's say it's just a free membership you don't have to have an uh, premium account but again if you're planning to start taking money things like that you definitely have to have a premium plan on it so once we click here then I'm gonna be able to go to the silver membership and as you can see I have access to this plan so hopefully this is something that is gonna help your business you know, uh, either build a list, increase sales, have more engagement, being able to share things. Uh, now, this is using a method on the Wix app. Uh, this is also possible for, uh, you know, other things. Like if you start using a little bit of Bello, you can have a little bit more control on things. So you can have them fill up forms and then being able to sign up for a membership and pay. So there's different things that you can do with this, but it all depends on what kind of things you want your site or your business to do. So again, hopefully this uh, helps you.